So in this question, we given four departments of a management school and the professor and the faculty members of that or those departments. So those departments are finance, which has nine. So I've read up till here, nine members. And then we have marketing, which has seven faculty members. Then we have operations, which has five. And then we have behavior and HR, which has three members. Now, some of these members are standing for the post of the dean. Okay. So that means there are some people who become candidates from each. The other are non-candidates. In all, we know there are 24 faculty members. So there'll be four candidates. They're given as, their names are given as P, Q, R, and S. So these people get the votes. And then we have, that means we have 20 non-candidates. And then it says every faculty includes four candidates voted. Uh, so Professor Prakashi has the four candidates who started with candidate dean of school. Only one of the candidates was from ONQ. So ONQ has one candidate. That means four are non-candidates here. Uh, this is what we know till now. And these are the four candidates, four candidates who stood. Every faculty member who voted, so that means there was voting going to happen. So there were 24 votes in each department. All the faculty members who were not candidate voted for the same candidate. So that means the chunk, the block of non-candidate will vote together. The rules of election are listed. There cannot be more than two candidates from a single department. So I cannot have more than two in any of the values. A candidate cannot vote for himself or herself. Faculty members cannot vote for a candidate from their own department. So they will not vote for their own department. After the election, the other Professor Prakashi received three votes, so he gets three votes. Kureshi got 14. Uh, Rama Swami gets uh, how many? Six. And Samuel got one vote. So these are total number of votes. Okay, so that means uh, so the non candidates, we know that non candidates have voted in a, in a block. So we again know there will be some candidate votes, some non candidate votes, which will be again four and 20 in number as given previously. So I can write four here and 20 here. So, so now I know after the other, he got three votes. Rama Swami, this is this, blah, blah, blah. Professor Prakashi voted for Rama Swami. That means Prakashi voted for Rama Swami. And then Professor Kureshi voted for Sam. Who did Rama Swami? Rama Swami voted for Kureshi. Kureshi voted for Samuel. And Samuel voted for Prakashi. So that means everybody's getting one, one. So this is clear. From the candidate, everybody got one, one, one vote each. So this is what has happened. And then they say that, uh, so that means non-candidate for Prakashi would be two, for Samuel is zero, for this person is five, and for this person is 13. This is there. So this is what the data is given to us. So we need to do this uh, and need to figure out what has happened. So we need to vote in blocks. So uh, let's just look at Prakashi's got three votes. How could he have got three votes? He needs two non-candidate votes. I can, where can I get two non-candidate votes in the, in the first table, this one? Uh, I can only get it in the, this department. If this was two, this would have been one. And this, these people would have then voted for Prakashi. And then that is how I would have got three votes for Prakashi. Okay, so I got one and this thing. For the others, I don't know. Now I need to get 13 votes uh, and one 13 non-candidates votes. So they can come from anywhere and I need five. Now five for, uh, for R can come from, okay, so there can be maximum two people here. So that means there'll be two people here and this would be five. And then these people would have voted for R. Since this is equal to four, then this is zero, then this is nine, and this is the table, which is made. So then two people are there together and this is what the table looks like. So that means this is 2MP, then the remaining, we need, I need 13, so need in, these 13 would have been for Q. So these two have voted for Q. So Q has got 9 plus 4 and whatever. And, uh, okay, and I need to find which two candidates can belong to the same department. So I know P cannot be there with S and R, so P can be with Q. <coughs> so just let me look at this. So 5, so R is definitely not here. So R is one of these two. So R could be here or R could be here, which these means so P is getting this nine votes, P is getting this four votes. Okay, so uh, so this could be R and this could be R. So either this one of these is R. This much I know. Okay, and I know uh, so two people who got this thing. We yeah, I need to figure that out. And I say that okay, so we fill this up. The table is ready. The R is there. Uh, so let's look at 
so p and q can be can form in the can be the same department can p and q yeah so they're not they're not both together they can be p and s cannot be in the same department uh q and r uh so no r is one of these so q and r can q cannot be here so q and r anyways q and r have voted r is voted for q so they cannot be so so this cannot be and this cannot be so this cannot be this cannot be r and s r and s can they be no r is here so r and s cannot be same department again so because r belongs either to o or to b i know that for sure so that means p and q are the only couple people who can be here because r and s were the only alternate because these two have not voted for each other and these two have not voted for each other. So there's no voting in between common them. So they, it could have been one of these pairs. So P and Q is the only couple. So I know P and Q is here. Either if R is here, then S is here. Or if S is here, then R is here. This is the only possibility. So this is the answer that we get. So we get Professor Prakashi Koreshi. Now let's look at, look at the next question. Let's look at the next question. Let me just click. Okay. So yeah. So... Let me just uh, erase this. In the next question, it says, which of the following can be number of votes Qureshi got from a single department? I know Qureshi got nine and four votes. So the option would be in this case, nine votes. Yeah. It will be nine votes. Yeah, done. So this is this thing. Qureshi has got nine plus four votes. Yeah, so now let's let's look at the other one. This question says if if S belongs to S belongs to uh, B and H. So we are saying that S belongs here. That means S belongs here. So if this is S, then this is R. Then Professor, uh, these are true. Uh, R belongs to O. This B is true. Prakashi belongs to MNS. Prakashi belongs to MNS. That's always true. We've already seen that. So both the statements are true. So the answer is D. Okay, let's look at the next question. What can be concluded about the candidate from O and Q? From O and Q, I know it could be either an S or R. So it's option B. It was either R or S. Yeah, yeah. So this is the option. B, B is the right answer. Let's look at the next question. Okay, non candidates from MNS voted for professor. Non candidates from MNS. This is not true because MVP Kureshi belongs here. So this is no, definitely not true. And since this is not true, that means, uh, uh, so this is not true. Definitely this is not true. So this statement is the so PQ is here. So A is not true. Non candidates voted for Qureshi, they can't. Non candidates, FNA, yeah, FNA voted for Qureshi, but that's how he got his 14 because it's 9 plus 4. So B is straight. So this only only statement is correct.